On December 19, 2018, President Donald J. Trump surprised the world by announcing that American troops would be withdrawn from Syria within 30 days. This surprised his advisors, the Pentagon, the Kurds, ISIS, but the two people it probably didn't surprise was President Putin of Russia and President Erdogan of Turkey. We've been fighting for a long time in Syria. I've been president for almost two years, and we've really stepped it up, and we have won against ISIS. We've beaten them, and we've beaten them badly. We've taken back the land, and now it's time for our troops to come back home. This announcement was met with some fairly predictable media reactions and White House responses. Sarah, he's giving Russia a big win. Vladimir Putin praised him. He also is doing exactly what he criticized President Obama for doing. He said President Obama is the founder of ISIS. He just refounded ISIS because they got 30,000 men there, and they're already striking back uh, with our uh, would-be evacuation. The president's got it. He's really uh, on the griddle with this. Brian, that, but Brian, I, I uh, have to respectfully and <laughs> vehemently disagree with you. Look, the idea that Putin is happy about this is ridiculous. He's not. This puts a greater emphasis and makes them have to actually step up and do something and do more in the region. It puts them at a greater risk. So I think that's just silly. Well, fortunately for us, Sarah, we don't have to rely on you to let us know what Putin is thinking. Я согласен с президентом Соединенных Штатов. Мы, я уже об этом тоже говорил, добились существенных изменений в борьбе с терроризмом на этой территории и нанесли серьёзные удары по ИГИЛ в Сирии. Согласовали полностью это. Что касается вывода американских войск, я не знаю, что это такое. Соединенные Штаты присутствуют, скажем, в Афганистане уже сколько? 17 лет, и почти каждый год говорят о том, что они выводят. Rather than focus on Trump or the other personalities involved in U.S. politics, let's take a step back and look at Syria and what the immediate and predictable consequences of this decision will be. As you can see from the map, there are currently three major groups holding territory within Syria. In yellow, we have the Kurds. In green, we have the rebels. And in red, we have Syrian governmental forces along with Iranian and Russian forces. It was the Kurds as American allies who were fighting ISIS directly. They are the ones who fought building from building, town to town, and city to city to take territory away from ISIS. In exchange for doing the ground fighting against ISIS, the Kurds were really only expecting two things. The first was protection from Turkey. The second was the possibility of a semi-autonomous region within Syria after the civil war was settled. Not as outrageous as it sounds. The Kurds fighting ISIS freed up Syrian government forces to concentrate on the rebels and help them bring the civil war to a close. And that brings us to the first two predictable outcomes of the American withdrawal from Syria. With no American presence to deter him, Erdogan will cross the northern border and massacre the Kurds using the second largest army in NATO. The second predictable outcome is that America is going to find it increasingly difficult to find allies worldwide. Everyone knows that the U.S. just abandoned their ally, and it will always be in the back of the other country's mind what happens when the U.S. abandons us. A third predictable outcome is that Vladimir Putin right now is very happy. At a very low cost, Russia is now in a position to rebuild, resupply, and rearm the Syrian army after the civil war ends. This guarantees Russia a nice, hard currency injection into their economy. It also protects their existing economic interests in Syria and the naval base at Tartus. The last, or at least the last prediction I'm willing to make, is that Israel is going to face increased pressure from Hamas and Hezbollah now that Iran can once again use Syria as a open secret pipeline to supplying their cat's paws against Israel. Unless President Trump changes his mind, those four predictions are going to come to pass. So, who are the winners and who are the losers? Russia is definitely one of the winners. They gain increased regional influence, plus a nice boost to their economy. Turkey's obviously a winner. 
they get to finally achieve their goal of massacring the Kurds and, from their perception, reducing the terrorist risk within Turkey. Iran is a small winner. The resupply of their cat's paws has become logistically simpler. So, who are the losers then? The Kurds obviously are losers. They've now been set up for a massacre. Israel is a loser. Their defense problems are going to multiply. And the United States of America is possibly the largest loser. This action, more than any other, will have the international community no longer looking at the United States of America as a trusted actor on the world stage. The United States has just abandoned an ally. And nobody has any reason to trust the United States under President Trump. This is your President America. As always, everyone, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and share it around. If you didn't like the video, subscribe anyways. You might like the next one, but definitely leave a comment. Have a great day, everyone.